Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how concentration and pH are linked. The key thing to take from this video is that the pH measures the concentration of hydrogen and hydroxide ions. So if you have more H plus ions, you have a higher concentration, and if you have a higher concentration, the pH is going to be lower. The same thing happens with alkalis, but it goes the opposite way. So yeah, if you have more OH minus ions, the concentration of OH ions goes up, and therefore the pH will increase. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So the first one here says, describe what happens to the pH of an acid as you change the concentration of H plus ions in the solution. It's worth two marks. So here, talk about what happens when you increase and decrease the concentration. For question two, describe the effect of decreasing the concentration of OH ions on the pH of an alkali. So it's just the one here. As the concentration of OH ions goes down, what happens to the pH? Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through. So, as I said, for question one, talk about what happens when you increase and decrease the concentration of H plus ions. So, if you increase the concentration, the pH will go down. So, you get one mark for that. And if you lower the concentration of H plus ions, the higher the pH. Question two, describe the effect of decreasing the concentration of OH minus ions on the pH of an alkali. That is nice and simply, if you lower the concentration, you lower the pH. That pretty much sums up this video. There's a review question for you, which is describe the link between concentration of H plus ions, OH minus ions, and the pH of a solution. And that ends this video. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on subscribe down below. And you can also find out more information on my website, mrbarnstc.com, and Facebook, and Twitter.